Hello, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Uh, what we're looking at today is the Asus EPad Transformer Prime, and it's brand new, has a uh, ice cream sandwich on it. Now, this is the first tablet in the world to officially have ice cream sandwich on it, as officially licensed by uh, Google, and as you can see, it's running quite nicely right away. Now, uh, the lock screen here has the same sort of feature that you would see on the uh, Galaxy Nexus. But uh, as you can see, it's more like honeycomb in that it's on the left and right here rather than vertical. Now, we can go either to the camera or to unlock. We'll go straight to the camera. Now, the camera works with the back-facing 8-megapixel camera here. As you can see, it's, uh, again, ice cream. And it has a slightly different look to it than you'd see on a smartphone. Right here, you have your uh, zoom. It's sort of a half circle there instead of it being up and down or left and right. And then your selection down here actually just goes, flips the next one instead of expanding out and having you select from there. You can also do panorama mode, so that's pretty cool. We were wondering if you're going to have that or not, but it is indeed active. So once we get back to camera here, you can see that you can go, you can take a photo, you know, easy. It's not as quite as fast as the Galaxy Nexus, but it is still pretty really fast. Head into here, go to your gallery. Tap it again here. There we go. You can see that it just has one photo again. It has the options the same way you'd have it in the Galaxy Nexus. Now, with ice cream, to get to your next photos, you have to tap it once. Uh, this this keeps you out of the gallery so that you don't have to open a separate application if you just want to start looking through your photos. But we got it like that. There's my baby. Now, if I want to go back out to the front, I can just activate these keys again. Go to the front like that. And then from here, it's once again a tablet version of Ice Cream Sandwich, which is nearly the same as Honeycomb, but has slightly different uh, bits to it. As you can see, there's a slightly different deal up here that's showing you which screen you're on of the five. So they were freezing. There we go. Uh, your To get to your applications, you go up here. These six little dots will tap you into your applications like so. And another thing to notice here while we're doing this is that it's not pure uh, ice cream sandwich. It is a little bit different, uh, just modified a little bit by Asus. So you're going to see a little bit different things with the icons. Now these icons are pretty much all straight from ice cream sandwich, but there are some differences. Now this is one of the coolest um, uh, widgets you can get. It's one-click clean. Uh, you can see the different applications that are open at the moment, but you can just uh, tap it there and it'll exit out of all of them. Now if I go into our applications here, you can see I have a couple screens of applications. The only things that are here that I added in uh, later are uh, GTA 3 and uh, Fruit Ninja. Otherwise these are all coming with your uh, device when you upgrade to Ice Cream Sandwich. In our widgets here you can see we have the same sort of stuff we had before with the exception of uh, Task Manager there that comes just with an Asus device like this and then from there there are a few differences in uh, you know in our dock here we can do the thing where you can knock these out like that and knock the messages out. These ones will stick because they're uh, persistent because we're docked that's for one of them. Then we have this, this sort of stuff was already on here if you've seen this tab before these are all just normal things uh, go into settings you can see we have the ice cream sandwich settings and we do in fact have the most important uh, developer options. From here, one of the things it shows you is developer settings may slow down or hamper your pad's performance, hence we recommend that you disable these settings. Now, we know better than that. We know that we can uh, edit with, or you know, mess around with them because we aren't going to mess them up because we know what we're doing here. One of the things you're going to want to do right away is force GPU rendering. This will allow you to use your uh, graphics processors, uh, graphics, uh, you know, GPUs, in your device rather than uh, just using your CPUs for graphics stuff like this. You know, normally you'd be using the uh, the uh, CPU, now you're using the GPU, makes things faster. Uh, that's pretty much it, except for, uh, let's just do one thing more, it's Gmail. Gmail has a slightly different look, where if you go into a post, it'll slide to the side like that, and it looks really great. So there you have it. Everything's really slick. Everything looks really great. 